Welcome once again friends to our class series and in this uh, video we are going to be looking at now the conversion from binary, octal and hexadecimal to decimal. In a previous video we have looked at how you can convert decimal to binary, to octal and to hexadecimal. If you haven't watched the video please find the link up here. Please visit it, watch it, uh, because it will give you some good foundation before you can proceed with this video. And again, before we delve, delve into the conversion, I would urge us to subscribe if you're finding this series of videos helpful. And if you have any question, please leave it down in the uh, comments section. And uh, the community is very glad to help you and we can interact more there. Right to the work, we have binary numbers, octal numbers, and hexadecimal numbers, which we can convert to decimal numbers. A binary number only consists of zeros and ones, because the only digits in the binary system are zero and one. So this is an example of a binary number. And I'm finishing it with two as a subscript to denote the binary number system. So for instance, if we are to convert this binary number to decimal, how are we going to proceed? Now I'll begin by bringing to us some foundational knowledge. I know we know the, all this, that we have what we call place values. While we were reading mathematics for our very first times, I know we learned something like we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on and so forth. And so in this case, those place values are going to be useful in the conversions from the three number systems to decimal. Beginning with this first one, a binary number, the place values begin with ones, and then we have twos, we have fours, we have eights, we have sixteens, and so forth. Now what do you realize about those place values? They are powers of two. So we begin with ones, and uh, you begin from the right going to the left, that is the least significant uh, digit, in this case bit, going to the left towards the most significant. So ones, it is ones because two is raised to the power of zero, which gives you one. And then we have twos because we have two raised to power one, which gives you two. Then we have fours, which is two raised to power two, giving you four, and so on and so forth. So we are having powers of two, giving you the place values in the binary number system. Now, coming back to our number, we are going to arrange our bits and space them out. And here, I'm going to put the place value of each digit below it. So this bit has a place value of 1s, which is 2 power 0. And this one has a place value of 2s, which is 2 power 1. This is 2 power 2, 2 power 3, and 2 power 4. Next, I'm going to find the product of each bit and its place value. So that here we shall have 1 times 2 power 0 and here is 1 times 2 power 1. Here we shall have 1 times 2 power 2, 0 times 2 power 3 and 1 times 2 power 4. So you can see I have products between each bit and its place value. So these products are going to be added. So I'll have a sum of these products. And what I end up with will be my final answer as my decimal number. So let's just do it here together. 2 raised to 4 gives you 16. So 1 
times 16. 0 multiplied by 2 power 3 will remain 0. 2 power 2 is 4, so we have 4. 2 power 1 is 2. And 2 power 0 times 1 is 1. So 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22, plus 1 is 23. And therefore, this binary number is the equivalent of 23 in the decimal system. So space out your bits. Write below each bit the corresponding place value. Find the product between each bit and its place value and perform the addition of those products of the bits and the place values and you end up with your converted number. I believe that is simple enough. We can move on to get an octal number. So with an octal number, an octal number will have digits 0 through 7. So an example of an octal number could be 1, 2, 6, base 8. And if we have to convert this to decimal, we will again, once again, space out your digits. Write below each digit the place value. And because the number is in octal, the base is 8. And we're beginning from power 0, 8, power 1, and 8, power 2. Multiply each digit with its place value. So we end up with 1 times 8 squared. We will add those products. 2 times 8 power 1 and 6 times 8 power 0. So 8 power 2 gives you 64. 8 power 1 is 8 times 2 gives you 16. 8 power 0 is 1 times 6 gives you 6. And the sum gives you, that is, 86. 86 is our final answer. Finally, we will have an example of a hexadecimal number. And an hexadecimal number consists of digits 0 through 9 and A through F. So an example of a hexadecimal number could look like 1, 2e, base 16. And here, if we are to convert this to decimal, we will proceed in the same way, spacing out our digits. And any letter in the number has to be represented by its corresponding uh, value numerically where A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. So our E here is 14. As usual, give each number or digit its place value. And the base is 16, so this is 16, power 0, 16, power 1, and 16, power 2. You then get the products of each digit with its place value. So you get 1 times 16 squared plus 2 times 16 power 1 plus 14 times 16 power 0. And we arrive at... 16 squared is 256 times 1, 256 plus 6 power 1, 16 power 1, sorry, gives you 16 times 2, that's 32, plus 16 power 0 is 1 times 14 is 14, and the sum of that is uh, 256 plus 32, that is 288, plus 14, that is 302, if I'm not wrong. And so your final answer is 302 to base 10. So that is how you can convert the binary number system to decimal, the octal number system, and the hexadecimal number system 
to decimal numbers. That is it for this video. If you find it useful, once again, subscribe, share with your friends. If you have any questions, let's interact in the comment section. And uh, if you have not watched the previous videos, please, you can watch them. And we'll do something else in our next video.